So we're going to be proving that the area of the rectangle is A times B. Well, sort of. So, prove that the area of the rectangle is A times B. We have this rectangle down here, and what we're going to do is we're going to imagine that it's actually on a coordinate plane, where this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. Now, if we're going to call this length A and this length B, what do the coordinates have to be of the corners of this rectangle? Well, down here we have our origin, 0, 0. This point is A long, so that's going to be A on the x-axis, but still 0 on the y-axis. What's this point going to be? Well, it's B high, so that's going to be still 0 on the x-axis, but B on the y-axis. So this point is going to be AB. Now, we can say that this line here is the line y equals to b. That is the equation of that straight line. And really, what we want to do is we want to find the area under the curve y equals b between here and here. So what that means is we're really doing an integration of the function y equals b in terms of x between my lower bound of 0, down here, and my upper bound of a, over here. So let's do this integration. We're integrating b in terms of x just gives me bx, and my limits here are between a and 0. So that's going to give me ba, because when I just place a in here, I just get b times a, minus b times 0, which just gives me ab. So the area under the curve is AB, therefore the area of that rectangle is just A times B, or base times height. Now that is neat, but it is a bit cheeky, because we are basically using, when we do integration, the fact that the area of rectangles is base times height to even do integration in the first place. So really, we are using the fact that the area of a rectangle is A times B to prove that the area of a rectangle is A times B. So we've kind of proved it, well, sort of. For more fun maths, visit chalekmaths.com. Looking forward to seeing you there.